we're here. Now, this is part two of our mini series about cost of living in the UK. Uh, right now, what we're is cost of living inside uh, London. Okay, let's talk about the inner, uh, yung, uh, first area, which is you must central, which is inner London. Uh, certain examples would be uh, borough of Westminster. Uh, Westminster, kung iniisip nyo, saan ba ang Westminster? Think of Big Ben. Moving on, uh, so that, that's most most central. And then we go to the uh, outer London. Bigyan lang ko kayo ng example of areas na part of outer London. This is uh, Enfield maybe in the north and Kingston down the south. Uh, isang maganda pang marker dyan is you look at what we call your motorway that surrounds London, the M25. Generally speaking, uh, M25 encapsulates London. So, uh, outer London muna and then you uh, uh, inner London. Now we go to fringe areas. No? Uh, uh, fringe areas would be normally outskirts of London or generally has direct access into London. Either uh, normally by train yan or bitsan na part pa sila ng underground uh, railway system o yung tinatawag dito na tube. Uh, mga example nito would be somewhere like Windsor, uh, Dartford, Essex, St. Albans. Di, kung maaalala nyo from our previous episode, well, from our first episode, sorry, uh, we said yung HCS, uh, HCAS uh, varies kung nasaan ka sa London. So let's put it this way. Uh, Central or inner London, that's the full 20%. Alright, you go out that uh, central area, you're looking into the outer London, London pa rin, uh, nandiyan na yung 15%, and then the fringes. Remember, yung sinabi ko, what encapsulates London is in the M25, right? Uh, M25, paglabas mo na dyan, fringes, yan, meron silang HCAS na 5%. What we'll do is, we'll break down yung London, uh, kung paano yung normal accommodations na pagdating nyo dito sa UK. So, we'll break it down to we couple together yung provided ng accommoda uh, accommodation ng hospital. So, hospital accommodation plus house share. We'll look into that. And then, yung second, paano kung nagsulo ka? One bed flat ka. Ikaw lang. Alright? So, we'll start yung hospital accommodation slash uh, house share. So, here we go. So, Ang um, usual accommodation starts around 750 pounds, okay? Uh, so, line up for a single person, 750 to 1,000 pounds. Um, pag hospital accommodation, and sometimes it would uh, include your council tax, your utilities. Um, they might pay for gas, electricity, water, what have you. Here, I would just say, idadagdag ko lang ang mobile phone. Ang babayala mo na, na lang yung general accommodation plus mobile phone. So, tignan natin yung range nun. So, ang mobile phone uh, contracts na makukuha mo dito or syempre, pag pay as you go, kung ano yung gamit mo, pay, pay as you go, uh, ang tawag sa atin sa Pilipinas is load. Parehas lang yan. Pay as you go, load system, parehas lang po yan. Or pwede tawag dito, top up, parehas lang po yan. So, ang pinaka, uh, isa sa pinakamababang pay as you go na nakita namin is uh, 4 pounds. Ang 4 pounds would entitle you to... Uh, around 500 megabytes of uh, internet. So, sa totoo lang mo lang ang makukuha doon. Pero at least, you know, 4 pounds. Tapos ang pinakamataas, uh, isa sa pinakamataas na kita namin, 40. But then again, pwede yung tumaas. Then, depende kung anong klaseng bundle yung kinuha mo. Whether or not may phone yun, or latest phone, what have you. Ang, ang labas niyan, uh, 750 to, uh, 754 to 1,040. Alright? Ngayon, kung one bed flat ka naman, Alright, uh, ikaw ang, uh, again, mag-isa ka lang. Tingnan natin ngayon yung bills na. So, for a one-bed flat, ang range na, uh, this is talking about London, ano, uh, is between 1,000 pounds to 1,200 pounds. Yan ang ano niya. Uh, dahil nga uh, ikaw na yung mag-isa, tendency mo, ikaw magbabayad ng lahat. So, ang council tax might range from 53 pounds to 76 pounds. Uh, gas, uh, this is, we're all talking about average prices dito, no? Can be 33 pounds a month per, per gas, electricity 34 pounds a month. Uh, water, roughly 30 pounds a month. Uh, 
uh, TV license, uh, 12 pounds a month, and then broadband, again, depending on your speed. For this sake, we'll just say it's 16, 15.9 pounds or 16 pounds. I know. Uh, and then mobile phone na 4, again, yung pinakamababa. So, uh, ang range natin dyan, pag inad natin yan from yung nakita namin pinakamababa to about yung mataas on the average, uh, magiging uh, expected na bayad mo sa accommodation plus bills is from 1,186 to 1,451. So, we'll move on ngayon. Uh, what if we add other essentials? Ano yung essentials na yun? Siyempre, nagtatrabaho tayo, cost of living, kailangan natin include ang um, commute. Hindi po ba? Travel expenses plus food, obviously. Food, uh, tinignan na lang namin ito from ONS or parang NSO sa atin, National Statistics Office. Pero ONS, kalabas somewhere again dito, editor help, kung anong exact meaning na ONS. Pero itong data na ito kinuha namin from ONS, so on, on the average, ang um, um, seven day oyster oyster is a card na ginagamit for trains and buses sa London and then yung food uh, again coming from ONS uh, inad natin yan so ang sabi doon ang uh, average uh, na monthly cost ng isang oyster or bus pass is around 256 pounds and then ang um, food cost for a single person on the average around 242 pounds Pag inad natin ngayon yan doon sa nakita natin earlier na utilities um, mag-range siya from 1,253 to around 1,950 Okay? So yun yung discrepancy niyan Alright? Again, give or take titignan mo rin yun kung ano yung klase yung utilities na kinuha mo anong tier high, high end ba yun? Low end? Middle tier? Again, titignan mo rin dyan syempre uh, kung sa hospital accommodation ka nakatira, I doubt naman siguro kung magtababayad ka pa ng travel expense. Kasi more or less, maglalakad ka na lang. Hospital accommodation na eh. Di ba? So, pag gano'n, syempre, libre ka na. Wala na yon. Pero again, yung sa food din, depende yan yan kung anong klaseng food yung kakainin mo. And this, I'm just talking about groceries. Hindi ko pa sinasabi pag uh, nag-eat out ka. Diba? Iba pa rin yung cost na yun. And this is just on the average. So, uh, that ends part uh, 2. Yung part 3 natin in the next episode sa ating miniseries will look into magkano naman ang outside London. But please, uh, do not forget to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below dito sa ating channel. Um, kung may kailangan kayo about more information about the United Kingdom, may mga katanungan kayo, Please feel free and we'll respond to you and we'll make sure we can, we can make it happen. Uh, we'd also like to thank Boom Booster for our music. And before we go, just always remember, uh, anything about the UK, ask. Because, you know, I don't know.